I'm Rich from Wheel Builder. Today I'm going to show you how to install disc covers on your wheel. Okay. In order for the covers to fit properly, you need enough room between the drive side spokes and the back side of the cassette uh, to allow the uh, plastic cover to fit in there. Typically, what we're looking for is five millimeters of clearance between the back of the cassette and the drive side spokes. When you receive your disc covers, uh, open the box and be sure you have the following items. You should have an uh, instruction packet, two valve stem patches, and a small baggie of male and female screw post fasteners, as well as disc covers. <laughs> when you get your disc covers, they'll come with two halves, uh, a left half and a right half. The way that you can tell them apart, uh, the left half, which is the non-drive side, will have more lens shape to it, and it will also have the cutout for the valve stem in it. Uh, the right half, or drive side, will be virtually flat. The flatter of the two halves is the one that will go on the drive side. Today we're going to install on this uh, Edge 68 wheel. On the inside of the right half, you'll see a decal, a white decal that says align valve stem here and the decals on the outside of the cover have our logos on them. Uh, sometimes these get flipped inside out so you'll know that uh, that's the outside of the cover. So the first thing you can want to do is remove your cassette uh, and uh, clean off the, the hub there and get it ready for installation. Uh, the inside of the drive half will have this decal that says align valve stem here. You'll want to align that at the valve stem. Uh, so typically we'll drop it top down and flip the entire wheel upside down. It helps to have a small cardboard box. Uh, in this case I'll use uh, just a small piece of Tupperware and uh, lay the wheel down on top of it. Uh, and at that point I like to align the valve stem with the decal. And we're ready to go with the second half. Take the non-drive side half, set it over the top, again setting the valve stem uh, in alignment with the pocket and the white decal, the other half, and we are ready to install fasteners at this point. The fasteners are used to attach the left half to the right half of the covers through eight uh, holes around the outer edge, and these fasteners, uh, it'll come with ten fasteners, it's got two spares. Uh, and there is a, uh, a male and a female half. Uh, these are available in about five different lengths and uh, we'll send the correct ones for your wheel. Uh, usually we'll push the female half of the screw post fastener up through the bottom, push it through the cover until it goes through, and then push the male half through until it bottoms out with your thumbs. Uh, while the fasteners do have threads, uh, it's not required to thread them together. You can actually push them together with two thumbs. To get them apart, you'll need to use a screwdriver. And I'll continue to do that on all eight holes. I typically skip every other hole on the first pass. And I'll get these in. Okay, so I've installed all eight fasteners. Uh, when they are complete, the covers should fit uh, pretty snug all the way around. Uh, and you, in this case, you can see there is uh, very little warpage around the cover, and uh, that's a pretty good fit and cover. Uh, when you've installed your cassette correctly, you should have approximately four millimeters or so of clearance between the cassette and the cover on the drive side. Uh, that'll ensure that you don't have contact between the chain and the cover or your derailleur and the cover. That's it, you're ready to race. Uh, one other thing, it'll come with uh, valve stem patches. Those can be applied over the valve stem uh, there 
and uh, typically the patches are reusable uh, quite a few times. What I've done here is interrupt the uh, contact at the center of the hub with this uh, rod here. But uh, what I'm trying to demonstrate is you can see that there's quite a bit of warpage on this cover. Uh, the cover is lifting up from the rim between fasteners here. It has uh, quite a bit of wave to it. It's also lifting up from the rim here and it, it's buckled at the uh, valve stem pocket. Uh, if you are having these type of problems, uh, severe warpage, uh, chances are it's because the center hole in this cover does not have a large enough clearance to allow the hub to poke through uh, and it's a relatively simple problem to solve. Uh, you can file or lightly sand the center hole until the diameter is opened up enough to allow the hub to not contact the center hole. If I were to if I slide this out, you can see that now the cover fits very tight all the way around. Uh, so the key is to not uh, have the cover being held up by the center uh, at the hub.